If you're in California right now, to have a Class A rated assembly, you need to have your metal panel and you need to have some kind of accessory to make sure that the heat from the fire doesn't transfer through the metal and into the wooden decking of your home or building. Today we're going to talk about a product that's now being offered by Sheffield Metals to bring your roof up to that Class A requirement with just your metal panel and underlayment. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. If you're in California, you know uh, wildfires are a top issue when it comes to new buildings, old buildings, and when it comes to standing seam metal roofing, it's one of the best products that you can have to protect your home or building. But a Class A assembly doesn't stop with the metal panels. There's other things in that assembly that needs to be Class A approved in order to have a Class A fire rated assembly. So we've got a really exciting new product that we're offering for Sheffield Metals in California. And today I've got Jeff Hawk from the technical department at Sheffield to help me out. Thanks for being here, Jeff. Yep, thanks for having me, Thad. So what's this new product and you know why should homeowners and contractors in California be aware of this? So this is a sample of the uh, Titanium FR product. It is 80 mils thick. It's a square and a half roll. It has a self-adhered backing on it. This one has been peeled off and touched several times, so it's not as sticky as it, as it would be coming out of the roll. It has this texture on the top, which they call the Surefoot technology to help keep you on the roof once you're up there and not slip off. It's a square and a half roll, and it is going to bring your combustible roof assembly up to a class A requirement. You know, obviously fire is a big deal in California, right? And the only way that we really had to combat this or meet these requirements in these fire prone areas was start adding other things to the assemblies that created additional costs, created additional labor. And that was really the method out there, you know? I mean, for the longest time, if you needed to meet a fire rating over a wood deck, and this really only applies to wood decks when we're talking standing seam metal roof. And if everything in the system is not combustible, then obviously there's not that much of a concern. But, you know, with wood decks, you know, you had to add a quarter inch jip board, you know? That, that was the go-to method for the longest time for creating that fire barrier. Now we brought on this titanium product, this titanium FR, and we can meet a class A assembly with just using an underlayment. So it's, uh, you know, it's still the labor to put the underlayment on. You have to buy underlayment anyways. It kind of makes sense that now you can just use one product and, and meet the requirements that, you know, are going to be required for your area. Awesome. Yeah. So let's let's get into some of the specifics about um, this particular product why we'd be beneficial for somebody in California. We talked about, you know, already removing that extra piece for cost savings, um, but let's talk about some other things as well. Yep, so specifically, uh, the product itself is 80 mils. So it's a lot heavier of an underlayment than what you're probably used to seeing, right? Typically underlayments are 30, 40 mils, and that's the standard. This product is 80, so it's double the thickness of that because you have to have that fire resistance, right? You know, most rolls are five squares or two squares. This roll is a square and a half because, again, double the thickness. You want to still be able to lift it, right? Um, so it's a little bit smaller roll. Uh, but, you know, it goes on like your average underlayment would. Other than, you know, I mean, being thicker and being a little bit smaller roll, it's a roll of underlayment. When it comes to fire rate and underlayments, you know, you have to have a product that is going to stop that heat transfer from getting through to the plywood decking and igniting it. Especially talking about a peel and stick, because this is a peel and stick product, you need to make sure that the product you're using, the adhesive on the back of it isn't going to melt away as well. There's videos out there online and you can see standard non-fire rated underlayments. They get heat applied to it. Next thing you know, it's dripping the adhesive coming down. This product is made to withstand all that and provide the time for the Class A requirements to protect the roof decking and the fire infiltrating the home. Okay, so... Let's talk about the product specifics a little bit more. You know, you mentioned, uh, you know, how much comes in a roll. Um, is this mechanically attached? Is it self-adhered? It depends on the installation. Um, it's a self-adhered product. Sometimes, you know, depending on their installation instructions, you might need to back nail it. You might need to use a primer. It really depends on the situation you're using it in. I always recommend referring to the manufacturer's instructions so you can see how your specific installation method is going to need to apply. So I always say refer back to that. 
couple things to note with it. You know, when you're using it under metal panels, you know, depending on the type of uh, metal panel you're going to use kind of depends on the amount of underlayment that you're going to need. So if you have a 26 gauge or thicker panel, one layer of the titanium FR will bring you up to a class A requirement. But if you're using a, a aluminum product, 032 or thicker, you have to use two layers of the product. And that seems to be the trend pretty much across any type of equivalent fire rated system. And I don't know this for sure, but I would have to assume it has to do with the amount of heat transfer being more with the aluminum than it is with the steel. That makes sense. So it's something to be aware of, you know, if, especially if you're near the coastline, you're going to need to use aluminum that you're going to have double the underlayment cost. Absolutely. You know, it's again, read the installation instructions, read the technical information. It's going to provide you all the guidance you need for what you are doing for your particular job. I don't want to speak in too much generalities when it comes to, you know, installation and things like that, because a 212 is going to be different than a 612, a steel roof is going to be different than a aluminum roof. So, you know, it's good to know the product that you're working with, especially when you're using it for this type of situation, right? Yeah, definitely. Before we wrap up, uh, leave a note in the comments if you want us to do more videos about this titanium underlayment um, for that Class A assembly um, and really get hands-on with this product and, and show what it can do. But right now, Jeff, is there anything else that we missed when talking about um, this product? Yeah, so, you know, a couple other things to mention that are, that are worth noting is that, you know, the product itself does have a six-month, 180-day exposure rating. So once it's installed, you're good to go for six months, which provides you a little flexibility, right? I mean, listen, delays happen, life happens. Having that extra time with your uh, exposure is, is only a benefit and uh, an insurance, you know, for your project. It does come with a limited lifetime warranty. We talk all the time about using products in our assemblies that are going to meet that long-term metal roofing, right? Um, so limited lifetime warranty is definitely a plus, you know, and it's it's approved for, you know, use in the, by the wildlife urban interface for, you know, fire prone areas, which again, you know, going to use a product that you want to use in a fire prone area definitely helps when you have the approvals and the certifications and the go-aheads from the people that are creating that criteria, right? Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jeff. Appreciate the info. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. If you have any questions, comment down below or call our La Mirada, California branch to learn more about this all-in-one underlayment um, to help bring your assembly up to be Class A approved in that California market. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.